what's going on? Your host AMF 1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo Dos. And uh, we're doing the Evo meeting because I got third last time because I made a really, really shitty mistake. So now we have to we have to make amends for that. And we're going to because after that I'm going to take a shower because I feel gross. I uh, got off of work a couple hours ago and I've been spending all the time since oh god not Grand Valley you gotta be kidding me it's the longest race in the world that's fine though that's fine we'll, we'll work with it it's something but um, I, I'm gonna be getting a new roommate soon by the way I don't think I've told you guys about that I'll be having a new roommate he's moving into my house here with uh, with me and my parents while we're uh, while we're looking for a new place to uh, move out to so it's like a transitional thing but it's gonna be super tight he's uh He's one of my co-workers, and I've known him for, you know, about ten years now, actually. I've known him for a long time. He's, uh, he's been working at our place for about as long as I have, so it's pretty sick. I like having roommates. Roommates is fun, especially when they're cool. I, I don't like roommates that are totally shitty, so... Glad that's not going to be the case. So, uh, yeah, I was helping him move a bunch of his stuff from his house over here. That's why, you know, I'm starting this as late as I am, even though a lot of you probably won't even notice that. But for the ones that do, then that's what's going on. But uh, I wanted to use this time to talk about something, because I don't know if I actually have really gotten my piece in on this or not. I think I may have, but I, I honestly, I honest to God, I honest to fish pace, don't remember whether I did or not. But I read something, and I actually I posted it on Instagram, for those of you that, that follow me there, then you can totally know about this, but... Uh, there was an article in some newspaper somewhere. I don't. I don't even know. God, there's so many things going on on my phone right now. I'm just a really popular guy, I guess. <laughs> that was the weirdest laugh I've ever done in my life, by the way. I think. I think. I think. Therefore, I am. Oh God. Okay. Here we go. This could be potentially another disastrous attempt at finishing this. If I if I don't get first on this race, I'm gonna have to go back and start dumping more money into my car to make it faster. But this, uh, this actually goes right in hand with like video games and driving, actually. There's actually a good reason why I picked to do it in this video and not something else, but there was apparently a 10-year-old uh, a kid that saved his great-grandma from impending doom, essentially. Um, apparently they were driving somewhere and she collapsed over the steering wheel, I guess. And uh, so the 10-year-old thought it would you know, be a great idea. His... Uh, his, uh, you know, fight or flight response came in and he decided he was gonna punch that bitch in the face. Not not his grandma, but the situation. And I don't think punching his grandma in the face would really be a conducive thing for that situation, but he, uh, he took the wheel and he, like, drove the car to safety. And then he accredited his awesome driving skills to Mario Kart. Yeah! To the awesome greatness of Mario Kart. And, uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys have probably, you know, heard all the news about how you know, a bunch of different groups are trying to demonize video games for, you know, turning kids into a bunch of violent killing machines and whatever. From, like, you know, violent video games like COD and any of those types that, you know, involve the shooting of people. Or Grand Theft Auto, where you're stealing cars and you're, you know, killing hookers and doing drugs and having, and having sex and whatever. You know, and, and so it was just, it was, it was refreshing to see that, you know, that they're actually going to advertise that, you know, still there is good in the world that can come out of video games. They don't just turn people into just mindless zombies sitting in their parents' basement doing nothing more than just playing continuous games and eating Cheetos while you're pooping your pants and whatnot. But yeah, dude, a little ten-year-old kid saved his grandma. So super tight. And uh, there was another one a, a while back where, like, a kid saved his... He, like, saved his is a little sister or something because of some skills that he learned in World of Warcraft. It was awesome. It was like, it's there's still good in the world that comes from that, but it leads me to the whole discussion of, like, the violent video games thing because it totally pisses me off, and I, I'm i sorry if I've talked about this before, but I totally don't remember doing that, but the whole thing about, you know, violent video games and that they should be removed because, you know, they, they're so influential in turning, you know, kids into just these mindless killing droids that just totally obliterate people because of stuff that they learned in video games. It's like, that's that's such an illegitimate reason to get rid of them. Or, like, all together. So it's like, you're going to you're going to punish 99% of the gaming universe 
that can play these games without any sort of, you know, issue. But you're gonna get you're gonna try to get rid of them just because, you know, there's a, a small niche of people that can't you know differentiate between, you know, what's real and what's fake, or that you you know that you're going to refuse that you're gonna like you know, use stuff that you learn in a video game and turn that into an instruction manual for murdering people. I mean, I to me personally, I think that it's way more about the, the, the person themselves rather than the video game because think about it how many video games have you played where you're just like oh dude I would love to do that to somebody in real life I'm gonna go buy the materials for that and I'm gonna go do it no but like maybe one percent of gamers everywhere I think have have had that thought and that's a maybe not even one percent maybe like maybe like half of one percent I think it's just I don't know it's 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 too ridiculous it really is I just, I think that if you, in your own mind, can't, uh, you can't make the the decision that you're only going to take the game at face value for what it is, instead of, you know, thinking that you have to go out and just do a bunch of crazy bullshit, then that's your own problem. Like, don't, don't make the rest of us suffer because of a small group of people that, you know, couldn't handle their own you know, mental problems. And a lot of it's parenting, too. Like, you're, if, if your parents are going to allow you to play that stuff, you need to teach them that, you know, that you, can only, you, you can't just go out and go gallivanting around town killing people. You need to you need to be able to leave that type of shit in your own brain and not translate it out in real life. It's, it's not acceptable to do that. What the hell was the other thing that we were doing, by the way? I totally forgot. The Mirage Cup. Okay. That's what we're doing. So, we need to get... Oh, Mirage Cyborg. It just sounds cool, even though it looks exactly like... It looks exactly like a, like a Honda Civic. Huh, interesting. What about this one? 172. We're definitely going to take this car. That looks exactly like a... Uh, well, actually, my friend Jake has one of those. I wonder if they have a red one. Oh my god! It's the same car! <laughs> That's so awesome! Oh, Jake, if you are watching this, I have just found your car, senor, and I'm going to drive it. In homage to you, I'm paying homage to your awesome car that you've had forever, and it's kind of a piece of shit, a little bit, only because you've had it forever, but it's still pretty cool. But yeah, I, I don't know, I just, I, I really have an issue with that whole thing of them being like, oh, violent video games need to go away because they just, they teach kids too many bad things, like, no, they teach, they, they, you know, it's, it's maybe not be the most healthy thing in the world for kids to learn about, but... For kids that can take it at face value and be like, well, okay, that's, you know, that's pretty violent, but, you know, I have the power of not being a fucking idiot and, you know, turning that into a horrible thing for everybody else. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's my, it's the opinion of one. Maybe it's the opinion of many, but that's just the way that I feel about it. I, I just, I don't think that they should make that type of stuff to disappear. Think about how shitty the gaming industry would be if there weren't awesome games like that. I mean, just think about that. Think about, think about if games like like Doom or um, like games like Doom or you know Wolfenstein or Goldeneye 007 or I don't like them very much, but Call of Duty or think about if all those games had never been invented because you know the because they didn't want kids to be exposed to violent material. Like, really? I mean, there's violent. There's Pretty, there's equally as violent shit on TV nowadays. Like I was, I came home one night and I was watching Hannibal on TV, and uh, literally on like it's on like regular cable TV. I think it was on like NBC or something. And they had, they showed a part where this guy walked into a room and a person had been killed by being given a Peruvian necktie, where they slit your throat and they pull your tongue out through the hole. Like yeah, that's that's not super violence. Nobody's gonna get any weird ideas out of that, but. You know, give a guy a controller where he goes and kills people to, you know, save the world from impending doom, in most cases, and now all of a sudden, we're like, oh, that's, that's not acceptable, that's just, that's wrong, you know, you need to get rid of that stuff. Well, if you're going to get rid of vi violent video games, you need to get rid of all the violent movies, you need to get rid of all the violent TV shows, I mean, it's just going to turn into, like, fucking rated G Earth. And that's going to be stupid because most of the most of the best things in you know the industry of movies and gaming they're all violent stuff. There's you know explosions and people getting shot in awesome action scenes and all this other stuff. Like you just you have to be able to 
to have those things, but you just have to be able to teach kids that, you know, it's not acceptable to go out and, you know, fucking go and murder people in cold blood for no reason just because you saw it somewhere else. That's like, you know, if, if, if somebody jumped off a cliff, would you do it? Just because you saw them do it? No. Unless you're into that kind of thing, but, you know, whatever. It's People just need to learn that you just can't do dumb things. <laughs> it's like that commercial. We all do dumb things. Paying too much for car insurance shouldn't be one of them. Or it doesn't have to be one of them. It shouldn't be one of them either. Nobody needs to be paying a lot for car insurance because it's fucking stupid. I wish I could have been that 10-year-old kid, though, getting all up in the news and probably getting, like, cool awards and stuff because he saved his grandma from certain demise because of... I mean, let's be honest. How many of us are really great drivers because of Mario Kart? Like, for me... I'm a wild-ass driver in there, getting mushrooms, I mean, you're eating mushrooms and you're, you know, you're littering all over the streets, you're throwing your garbage out of your cart at people and it's throwing them off course, but, you know, hey, everybody's got to learn somewhere. I mean, if I would have learned my driving skills from anything, I think it would have probably been from the uh, San Francisco Rush games, that's where, I think that's where I got most of my, like, driving prowess from. I mean, I, I did win an award for that when I went into a tournament when I was like eight years old on a uh, cruise ship to Mexico. Yeah, I think I told the story about that a long time ago, but that's that's kind of where I learned to drive before you know I actually formally learned how to drive. That was that was just kind of the way to do it because it had more realism to it. Like you're actually driving cars that looked like cars <laughs> instead of driving you know little little buggies that cartoony characters are moving around, and so it had a little more of like a sense of realism to it, even though. Let's be honest, you're not going to be driving 155 miles an hour in downtown San Francisco, but hey, everybody's got a story. Got to start somewhere. <laughs> it's just, that's the way the world, the way the world runs. But yeah, I don't know. It's, I just want to get that out of the way. I just, I, it's, it's kind of been bothering me all day because it just kind of reminded me of that whole thing where it's like, oh, video games are just bad, and duh, duh, and just turn people into a bunch of fucking duh, duh, duh. So, that's my, that's my story about that. So, unfortunately, we've run out of time for this episode for a couple of reasons. A, I need to go take a shower. I feel so disgusting um, for, like, moving all that stuff into my garage down here. And it's just been fucking muggy as hell out here. I can't, I can't wait for fall, by the way. I can't wait for the summer heat and humid crap to go away. Give me the rain. Give me the sweatpants weather. Give me the fucking, the cold that's, that's what I want. That's that's what I want, and so I can't wait for it. But when we come back next time, we got to get the racing mod on this little mirage, and then we're going into the next race. Actually, let's see how far we are into this now. 61. Hey, look at that. See, we're moving along, and we've got lucky sevens across the board on the win ratio, so that's pretty sick. So yeah, this is your host AMF 1534 giving you guys a salute here, saying uh, thank you guys, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.